This is John Paul Rice, some people call me. This is one I've been waiting for for quite a while. I haven't seen Rambo 5 Last Plug yet, I really want to, but I think it's going to be fun to see reviews. And you know, Rotten Tomatoes gets a pretty bad rap, people saying it's trash, it's terrible, no one looks at it. But the only question I have is... If it's really sketchy and they're manipulating everything, why are they keeping up a positive audience score? I mean, just saying. Like, the critic score is really bad, and, you know, that's expected. They don't want to shell out this toxic masculine movie. However, if they really wanted to manipulate things, wouldn't they, like, lower the audience score? But I think they're keeping the audience score legit. Just my opinion. I really don't know. I don't care if you think it's trash, like it, whatever. I use it just as a way to kind of get a feel of what's going on. Just get a feel of, you know... A general idea. Let's take a look. Rambo Last Blood looks great, man. 35% on the critic score and 82% on the audience score. And by the way, it's 48 now. So a lot of times someone makes a video, they're like, it's on 20%, but there's like six reviews. But now there's 48, so that's a pretty good sample size. And the audience score is 154. Let's see what fun, sensational comments we got about this. Rated R for strong graphic violence, grisly images, drug use, and language. Sounds like a 10 out of 10 to me. Maybe take off one point for a bad plot line. Sam Adams says you might not think an 89 minute movie could drag, but boy does this one. Does he mean it's boring? I heard there was action. Kenneth Torn gives it a fresh tomato. A surprisingly broadening examination of a warrior in winter, a dark story of a berserker who can't let go. That's in its own way, bleaker and more despairing than we may be expecting. So, Katie Walsh says, Everything about Last Blood so perfunctory. Can we use some English here? It makes the film something to be slogged through rather than enjoyed. This guy, Raver Guzman, Says director Adrian Gunberg goes for an almost horror flick level of gore. Blasted off faces, bisected bodies, trisected skulls, you name it. Well, if it's a guy who's coming from war times, I can't remember. I think it was like Vietnam. Some kind of jungle, brutal warfare. What are you expecting, Raffer? You're expecting him to punch a guy in the face? Maybe elbow a guy? He's about as gruesome, as gory, as nasty as it gets. It's Rambo. Rambo Last Blood features what's easily the most violent movie scene of the year. It's awesome. That says it all, Johnny. Thank you. I think I'll see it. A fascist snuff film. Roger Moore. Roger. Do you write movie reviews or do you write trashy one-line sentences for Rotten Tomatoes? I think you write trashy one-line sentences for Rotten Tomatoes. Let's move on. A grim and nihilistic swan song for America's former Jingostic poster boy questions the coast of hyperviolence. What in the hell is that word? Jingonistic. That's not a word, by the way. That's a show off. Rambo Last Blood might promise a grand send off to one of the cinema's most iconic action movie characters, but it's not much of a Rambo movie. Get a freaking avatar, Andrew. Jeez. The only thing that death is coming for is the Rambo franchise itself. Well, actually, champ, actually, Robert, this is the last one. They're not trying to continue the franchise like, say, buying it for $4 billion and ruining it for its future. What they're doing is they're ending it in a somewhat respectful way. They're having the original character. They're not changing anything. They're not giving him some goofy sidekick. And it's probably going to end fine. Alright? Even if the plot's not great, even if there are some problems, I'm sure the character is going to be basically as Rambo should be. He's not going to do something nuts, like become a waitress and dress in drag or something. Loud, full of hot air, but perversely watchable, Sylvester Stallone's sequel might become Donald Trump's favorite movie. Okay, and he gave it a fresh tomato. This feels like the first draft of the story, rushed to the screen before Stallone realized he couldn't play the role anymore and or audiences stopped caring. Alright, I've heard some, like, fair critiques, like, about the actual movie making and not about the toxicness or violence. So, 
yeah, that gives me a little worry. Maybe he didn't really get it right as far as the plot and the pacing and things like that, and that's fair. But, you know, whatever. It doesn't kill my hype, and, you know, I really hate to admit this, but it seems like these days we unfortunately have some kind of political battle in movies, and it seems like Sylvester Stallone stands for not just like a masculine movie, but just making a movie that he wants to make. And it seems like these days you can't make movies that you want to make because you have to have certain boxes checked off or the movie isn't right for this day and age or something like that. So I want to support art. I want to support something that's intended to be the way it is. So if I get a chance, I'm going to see this. I have to see Joker. That's the important one. But if I get a chance, I'm definitely going to see Rambo 5. Good or bad, I don't care. It just looks like, again, he made something he wanted to make. No hired scapegoat director in case it gets messed up or something, you know. Anyway, let me know what you think of that in the comments. Let me know if you saw Rambo. I don't even know if it's out yet. I think it is, or it's coming out real soon. So, anyway, click that subscribe button. Smash it. Press it. Whatever you gotta do with it. Get subscribed. I will see you next time.